All right, everybody. Of course, it's the Christmas episode. Before we start, I want to thank everyone who has left comments on the videos, sent me DMs, sent me emails, uh, anyone who's left a five-star review, of course, uh, I will read those on the air. Um, and uh, yeah, just keep leaving those comments and uh, keep spreading word of mouth. I always appreciate it and uh, reach out to me. Thank you. But for now, let's get started with the Christmas episode of oh, the, the Rob Stern, Stern Show. All right, welcome to the show. And we got very funny, very talented Melissa Ping. Snow on that. And Christina Grossbeach. The elves have it. Wonderful. Um, guys, let me, let, let's start off with this. I'm gonna read uh, some five-star reviews that I got. Uh, this is how I reward people for leaving five-star reviews. Of course, these are the Christmas ones uh, that people have left. Uh, and uh, starting off, we have Elfman5. Elfman5 says, hey Rob, loving the podcast, super funny. Can't wait to eat so many Christmas cookies this year that I have my reoccurring diabetes come back. Aww. That's unfortunate. Why don't you read one of those five star reviews there? Um, okay, this one is also from Elfman. He says, um, it happened. I actually only got to six cookies before my diabetes came oh, back. Oh, no. Fuck you, Rob Stern. Uh, but he did leave a five star review. So I don't know. I, I, well, like that's the, the rule. I'll read it no matter what. But Elfman, please, I am uh, definitely not. Uh, encouraging people to eat that many cookies. Uh, yeah. Christine, why don't you read one there? Okay, this one's mm. from um, Reindeer69. Oh, these jokers. These guys. <laughs> and he and Reindeer69 says, Rob Stern, you are so talented Whoa. that for Christmas, I'm giving my wife, another reindeer, your podcast. Wow. Whoa, That's Rob, super fan. Yeah. Oh my God. You know, I'm trying to break into different markets, and I mean, I don't know how how hard it is to get into the reindeer market, but it oh, yeah. feels like an accomplishment. Yeah. I feel like they're going to do some crazy stuff while your podcast is on. I mean, they're reindeer. They're always doing crazy stuff. Oh, my reindeer gosh. Reindeer are crazy. Reindeer are crazy. Um, let me ask you, do you guys have a favorite Christmas time memory? I, I don't celebrate Christmas myself. I'm Jewish, but I do have a lot of fun, kind of fond memories mm -hmm. related to Christmas. Um, yeah, do either of you? Season. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Would you share Would you share <laughs> on the podcast? I mean, Please. Please. I don't know. Do you deserve it? <laughs> Okay, so okay, 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 okay. This is um, every year, my and this is a real memory. I'm not making it up. Yeah. Um, just checking. <laughs> um, this is a real memory um, that's not very exciting, but it means a lot to me that my family would always make lasagna at Christmas. Uh, that's wonderful. Yeah. I didn't realize that people were making like Christmas turkeys or Christmas hams. My Christmas family lasagna is was so always making awesome. lasagna. My mom's that's really awesome. Italian yeah. and my dad has a huge family. So it's like that feeds a lot of people. That's so me great. and my family would be listening to this one Christmas CD that my dad bought at a gas station in like 1995 that had all these like unheard of Christmas songs. Can you name? It's, it's called like a rockin' little Christmas. And the songs are like Mumbo Santa Claus. <laughs> Santa's gonna do the mumbo. <laughs> like those kind of things. Sorry, what's the mumbo? Mambo is like oh. a dance. Oh, yeah, yeah, like mambo number And it's five. like surf and Santa. Santa's gonna yeah. surf. Like these like very silly. I love it. It's an amazing series. So we'd yeah. listen to these 10 songs over and over and we'd all make lasagna. And that is a very, that's my, when I think of Christmas, I think of that. I, I actually have a recording of that uh, Santa album that you, you do? About. Yeah, he, oh it's a gosh. new one. They have like different <gasps> an kind update. of, yeah, an update of them. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look there. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, listen to, mm -hmm. to it. Oh my gosh. It's an update. The elves are going to the mall. 
elves are going to the mall because they ran out of time to make those presents. So now they're going to the mall and they're shopping at Hot Topic. Hot Topic. Limited 2. Limited really, two. Yes. This mall is from 2012, by the 2012, way. 2012, by the way. Macy's. <laughs> Macy's. Aldo. Aldo. And a toy store in the mall. In the mall. Uh, elves are going to the mall. Mm. Elves are going to the mall. Everybody now. The elves, elves are, are going, going to, to the mall. mall. The elves are going, going to the mall. mall. Hey, elves, uh, you guys going to buy something or are you just going to be walking around my store all day? We're just so happy that we came to the mall. This seems so much easier than what we were doing before. Well, which yeah. was making laptops. <laughs> and you? I'm just happy to be here. Um, please don't kick us out. <laughs> well, really you have day. to pay with money. Do you have money? No, but we have What's Christmas money? cheer. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I love that update. Oh, yeah. I that think that's great. a really that fun good. one. Yeah. yeah, I think that's... I. What I think is cool about that is that the elves... They don't pay with money. They pay with Christmas cheer. And the guy accepts it, actually. In the, oh, is that? Yeah. I cut it off. Yeah. No, no. That. Well, there's like a few reprises of that one. Oh, okay. Yeah. And he accepts money. I think that's great. Um, are you ready for a game? Let's do it. All right. This is called uh, Change the Subject. Now, of course, during Christmas time or holiday parties or any parties, you're going to run into people who you just end up in a weird conversation with. So this game is to see who is faster and better at changing the subject. You guys are competing against each other. And the way this is gonna work is I'm going to begin a statement or question as if you're in a conversation with me. The first of you two to quickly respond, both acknowledge what was said so don't you can't just you can't just be like start talking about something else you have to at least make some acknowledge and then attempt a comfortable segue into a different subject change you don't have to go that far just once you get to the i've moved on to another topic uh that counts but it's the first to answer when we do this and I'm so sure. for an example i'm going to give you an example uh I, uh, it's completely subjective, obviously. I'm going to decide when uh -huh. you perform it correctly. Um, so if somebody said, uh, is talking to you, they go, you know, I'm worried about getting cancer. That's, I don't want to talk about that. So you go, you know, cancer is scary. I worry about a lot of things too. You know, like the other day, I worried my favorite restaurant might close. So I ordered a meal from them. What's your favorite restaurant? Well, my favorite restaurant well, is... The, I, no, that was the example. Yeah, but I was starting. Oh, you were starting? Oh, my gosh. This guy. <laughs> well, I would this start the game. Guy. It's a I'm game. Just like ready, like, yes, Melissa. and, you so, know. We're like, yes, but see, and. Melissa, like, this, is how, this, is, this is where oh, it starts. Oh, my yeah. uh -oh. So, I'm sorry. I'm a rotten apple, and right, I'm spoiling the bunch. This is change the subject. First to, answer correct, first to answer correctly and change the subject gets the point. Christmas themed. You have to wait till I'm finished. <laughs> she gave me a bad present. I think my girlfriend is gonna break up with me. Your girlfriend is, is not gonna break up with you because, and this is really crazy, aliens actually exist. Aliens exist. They found out. They were doing a congressional trial. Aliens exist. All right. Uh, I'm gonna not give you the point. That was not yes. a comfortable segue. So well, you have to, you have a chance. Right now, she could sharp. get still at the point, but you got to attempt to do your own version, see if you can do a smoother transition there. She uh, gave me a bad present. I think my girlfriend is breaking up with me. That sucks. Mm. You know what else sucks? I think my girlfriend is going to break up with me. Wait. <laughs> she oh, keeps, no. She keeps, like, not responding to my texts, <gasps> and I've only gotten wait, sweeter and sweeter. Wait, the goal is to try and win. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, my girlfriend is gonna break up with me. Can we right. talk about that? Oh my god, so, we gotta talk about I'm this. I'm suffering. Oh, uh, no. Wait, is this real? I can't tell what's happening. If, if you think it's real, do I get to. No, you points? didn't change the subject at no, all. No, I changed it to my girlfriend. No, you gotta change it. You were trying to move. We were the, in goal, it. the goal is to move away from an uncomfortable subject. <laughs> Oh, I thought it's we were moving. It's not a less comfortable subject to talk about your thing. So, Christina, oh. you get the point. Yeah, that's right. 
That's uh, right there. Yeah, there was logic there, but I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> I no, you you were you were good. It was just like a, it was it was a cr- it, it wasn't comfortable. It wasn't a comfortable treat. It was uh, very segue. comfortable for me <laughs> to talk about choice. my breakup. Yeah. Honestly, I think that that one made far more sense. But that's not uh, that's not changing. I'm sorry, the we're doing it, Rob. It's okay. That's that's <laughs> okay. it's part of the okay. part of the fun. Okay. Um, there are no real rules on this show. That's we the, did uh, have a whole conversation about how I promised I ate dinner beforehand, so I wouldn't be mean to Rob on this show. <laughs> so I'm really trying. I You're did doing eat great. Dinner. I did eat dinner, but then you might get tired. <laughs> so those are the other, that's the other thing. <laughs> so, so let's yeah. hurry up. Uh, all right. Wow, that Santa is fat. What do you think of fat people? What do I think of television? I love it. I can't get enough of it. Although I did hear what you said. What kind of TV do you like? That, all right. I I mean, I gotta give Christina a shot because you really, you saved it at the end, but you really did not acknowledge what I I said until after. Well. (laughs) So try. That was great. What are you ready? Wow, that Santa is fat. What do you think of fat people? What do I think of fat people? I mean, why does my opinion even matter? I really like to eat rock candy and soda, and I'm a woman in my 30s. (laughs) I don't get an opinion. (laughs) Then. That was my segue. That was really well, you, humble. You, you gotta change the subject. I changed the subject to rock candy and soda. diet now. Okay. <laughs> well, Rob, I don't think you're paying attention. <laughs> um, I don't think he's paying attention. Melissa, I'm giving it to you. Thank you. All right. <laughs> First one okay. to answer correctly wins. I want a new gun for Christmas. I love hunting. You know what? You should hunt because you do like that. And you do want a new gun for Christmas. You should hunt for a new sweater. They just look so good on you. What's your favorite sweater that I own? Oh, good. Oh, my God. There she did it. I think she did it. She did it. Now we're going to get a shot, Christina. Okay. All right, next one. Okay. I can't afford to visit my parents this Christmas. Oh, no. You can't afford to visit your parents this Christmas. Oh, no. This This button doesn't work. That's I I would want to respond to what you're going to say, but unfortunately, I'm so upset that this button doesn't work. I can't even give you a, a, any of my brain power because this button doesn't work. All right, Melissa, you can steal on this one. I don't think so. I'll give you. This button doesn't work either. That's two in a row. And we are definitely on another subject, aren't we, people? We got two sound machines that are broken. All right. And, the Melissa, that was a quality master. control. This is a master. Melissa, artwork. you don't need to stick up for her. She's, no. She can take care of herself. <gasps> We're a All right, team. ready, Melissa. Try, try it yourself. Try you have a, you have a real shot. I can't afford to visit. Oh no, no, sorry. Whoop. I want a new gun for Christmas. Wait. Yeah, and this sound button doesn't work. Oh, oh yours <laughs> works. <laughs> it doesn't work. I. All right. Crazy how I lied. Up. I for, what was the question I asked? I asked, I want a new gun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was the one. I also can't All right. off. That's fine. That's a long one. All right. I can't afford to visit my parents this Christmas. Oh my God. Is that a, is that a horse? I'm so sorry, Rob. I would right. acknowledge what you're saying, but it sounds like there's like a so horse. Mel- Melissa, you can steal this one. Ready? I can't afford to visit my parents this Christmas. I should check on that. Oh my God. Sorry to hear about your parents. Do you think the horse and the cat, they're friends? Oh my God. Do you guys not want to play the game? No, no. I'm acknowledging what you said. <laughs> you you can't afford, and that really sucks, but Rob, there's an emergency outside. There's, yeah, I heard the horse. There's no, are you hearing the horse? So I have to add a rule now, I guess, I could, I, you know, for future games Broke that you it. can't use sound. You can't use sound. Well, yeah. again, that is... But the existence mm. of the horse in the backyard is a new subject. So by the rules, <laughs> I got to give it to Christina. <laughs> I think she well, gets well, the point. Why don't we give it to Christina? Christina wins the game. Yes. Um, I needed that. <laughs> all right. Enjoy. We're, we're going to do you. some uh, uh, screen test auditions for a couple of Christmas specials <sighs> coming out here. Oh God. Uh, Christina, <laughs> you're going to... Uh, the, we're doing the uh, special White House Christmas special, and you are auditioning for Hillary Clinton. So uh, let's uh, do. That is not. Nope. There we go. Hillary Clinton, a White House Christmas. 
Hey, Hillary. <laughs> hey, Bill. What'd you get me for Christmas? I didn't get you anything for Christmas. And you know why? Because we spend all our time in the city. You know what we need to do? We need to head to a small town and make a jam factory. Not a factory, a small mom and pop jam store. I think that's what we need to remember what the spirit of Christmas is, Bill. And that sounds like quite an adventure. It is an adventure. And if you're not interested in coming, I will go by myself. Do you want me to come? It's really, you know, I, I'd like you to come, but I, I do think, um, I do think that we could have a romance in Vermont at our jam store. And I do think that romance will be with a third person entering our relationship. So you need to be up for that because that is you, where this story I, is going. You know who I am. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Great audition. Melissa, you're going to audition for the uh, Terminator <gasps> in the new um, Terminator Christmas special. I mean, sounds pretty All right. Pretty standard. I'm excited to do this as someone who's seen that movie. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. oh, my God. So what are you doing here? What do you want from us? I'm... <laughs> <laughs> But it's Christmas time. What do you want to do? What do you come back for? Vengeance. <laughs> and it shall be mine. Vengeance on Christmas? What are you going to do? Steal our presents? And then I'm going to eat them. <laughs> of course, everyone remembers the Terminator eats presents. Yeah. Um, Christina, you're auditioning for Freddy Krueger. Celebrates mm -hmm. Christmas. Let's uh, that's not, let's just put that same scary. What? Are ah, what a wonderful dream I'm in. Oh, look, it's snowing in my dream. And the snow's made of blood. Oh no! Uh, oh no! It's everything's everything's blood. That's right. It's a Freddy Krueger Christmas, baby. Oh, no, Freddy. What do you want from me? I'm pissed at you because you didn't give me the children's Monopoly set I wanted when I was a kid. Oh, I was supposed to get you a present? We used to be friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, Freddy. What do you want to do? I'll make it up to you. You made me who I am. I'll bake you Christmas cookies. Now, wait a minute. That's now great. we cook it. Cook it there. All right, Melissa, they're uh, rebooting Walker, Texas Ranger. And, of course, you've seen that show. Um, Melissa's... Next You're 14. Please. How old are you? Um, I'm 19. Thank you very much. Okay. Jeez, uh, Rob. <laughs> Uh, Do your research on your guests. Yeah, maybe I, maybe I need to update my references. But Walker, Texas Ranger, celebrates Christmas. You're auditioning for that. Let's take a listen to it. Well, I don't know. These varmints came into town and stole all of our presents, Walker. Well, you know what I think we ought to do? What's that? Skin and quarter and tar and feather. <laughs> that sounds really aggressive and pretty violent. I'm sure they're just in a hard time. You see, that's not how I think. I guess me, not. Me, my character, <laughs> yep. I'm real, real anti-varmints. That was great. Uh, I, yeah, that is I really true. Like, I do believe Walker would be anti varmint He is anti varmint yeah. And what I really like is that in the later seasons of Walker, Texas Ranger, yeah. Chuck Norris's character, Walker, Texas Ranger, started to refer to himself as, as, the, character. as the character. He's a my character wouldn't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like more TV shows could get away with that. I mean, especially <laughs> yeah. in the later seasons, it oh, would yeah. be fun. I really, to really have. like Actually, they did that in uh, uh, Mad Men, the Christmas episode, <laughs> okay. if you want to take a listen here. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So, you see, gentlemen, you want to sell gum, but what you need to focus on is the spirit of what gum actually means. You know my character wouldn't give a damn about the spirit of gum. How dare you imply my character would even chew gum? I'm a classy secretary. No. Hush! <laughs> Your character is far too feisty! <laughs> no! Back to the man character. <laughs> Speak. 
fine. But my character would calmly explain something somehow, miraculously come up with the perfect pitch in this moment. Because of something that happened in your mysterious backstory? Yeah. Yeah. Got yeah. real, real clunky. That was a clunky, <laughs> yeah. clunky. Like, I mean, the last season. Yeah, yeah. It, turns out, yeah it turns out referring to yourself as a character interrupts the progress. Well, and of then the I forgot they they also called out other people's characters. Yeah, yeah. Is it your character? character? Yeah. It really. It, uh, like, so maybe that, I'm wrong yeah. here, but it was. I, 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 I it was a fun s- era in television. Yeah. A good experiment. Remember when we were all talking like that too in real life? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah Let's yeah. say we recorded it too when we were at that uh, restaurant. Um, Melissa, your character is uh, late. My character is. Your character is true. When they remark that. Um, I think my character will have just the papaya salad for today. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, what do you what do you mean? You're, who's who's having the papaya salad? You? My character has been eating nachos this whole time. Um, I think my character is pretty cool with Melissa's character being late. Um, because Melissa's character has this whole origin story that that leads to her being late, right, Melissa? Listen, my it's Christmas, does. and I'm sick of you actors coming into my restaurant and. Referring to character, just be a human being, God damn it! Well, I guess what we we haven't explored is why your character is so stressed this Christmas. Because I'm working on Christmas. I'm the only one. Mm. Oh, mm. my character's sad. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna close the restaurant and have a party for three. But are you with the characters? You on this know it. These elves are going to the mall. Mall, 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 mall. The elves are going to the mall. Um, wow, that was fun. Oh, we have an ad, uh, Christmas ad. It's for Seafood Jen's Christmas Crab Celebration. So let's uh, take a listen here, and you guys just read the ad copy right there. It's on your laps. Uh, come on down to Seafood Jen's Christmas Crab Celebration. We got crabs coming out of our ears. Our ears, our belly buttons, between our toes. Oh, yeah. Anywhere you could have a crab come out of, we've got a crab coming out of there. And those crabs, when they come out of your ears, belly button, and toes, they say, come on down to our crab Christmas celebration. (laughs) So if you'll unfold your menus, you'll see that it's actually a really complicated process to order first. Yeah, they say that in the end. First, you'll pick your crab. We want you to be prepared. Yeah. Then you pick which body part of ours it comes out of. Yeah, yeah, that's important because a toe crab tastes very different. Very different. You could not imagine. You couldn't imagine. It's it doesn't taste like crab at all. In fact, Wait, it really mostly put tastes these like toes. Crabs between their toes. It's part of the secret recipe. <laughs> oh, geez, it's sir. the shtick. This is our shtick. You gotta do whatever it takes to make money. You think now, it's please. fucking easy to make money off crabs um, today? No, I think of it's course fucking not. Easy. Crabs are just sorry, have the exact same name as a genital disease. A janital varmint. A janitorial varmint. Varmint. Okay? Mm. So we gotta do whatever we can to make money. This is all part of the commercial. Uh, yeah, yeah, I assume. Yeah. This is how much is the special? <laughs> By the way, if you're still listening in your car, <laughs> this is still part of the commercial. And we're telling, we're just, it's just so you know, you gotta do whatever it takes to make money. And it's fucking hard, okay? It's so hard. It's not easy. So if you would just buy the crabs so special. Just buy the crabs and respect the shtick. Is everything okay at Seafood Gems? Is everything Thank you okay? For asking. Thank you so much for asking. Um, um no. Oh no. We haven't been as fertile as we have in the past. No. And the, Wait. the toes are they're drying up. Everything's drying up. What do you mean fertile? Like, you guys... there's no crabs. The oh. crabs aren't coming. They're not coming out. That's of why our they're bodies. so expensive. Oh, they're so no. expensive. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry for you. So how much is this special if they're so expensive? Um so anyway, the Christmas crab special is $17.99 and it comes with fries and tartar sauce. That sounds like an amazing deal. Yeah. I think that's where maybe you're losing some money there because that $17.99 for 
crap feels like it. Honestly, it's mostly because we have a lot of credit card debt for our experimental surgeries. Well, but I'm saying you could charge more. Don't for you want to know about the experimental surgeries? I really don't, but go ahead. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> For the listener, I'll describe there's a bunch of scary, disgusting, I'm guessing like tentacles coming out of her. What's the, what's the website? <laughs> I knew you were gonna ask that. I knew you. Were yeah, I knew you were really, that. you were really warming this up. This is still for that part hours. of the yeah. commercial. So you driving, uh-huh. listening to the radio. Yes. This is still the commercial. Okay. And our website uh-huh. is Sifu Jim's Christmas Special. Oh, that's crazy! Did Jim got the website, not Jen? <gasps> yeah, Jim got the website. Oh. Honestly. It- it's a whole thing. Okay. We, we would rather get not get into name. it while we're still paying for like commercial time. It's one of uh, the things that we're paying off totally on our understand. credit Which cards. one of you is Jen? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> really? You have to ask? You have to ask? Wow. Okay. Wow. Sorry, I crossed the line there. You crossed the fucking line. Yeah. Well, th- well, thank you for- She's Jen. And now this is the end of the commercial. <laughs> Bye, I love you. Bye, I love you. (laughs) Uh, You guys ready for another game? Let's do it. All right, let's see if we can get through this full one. Um, Honestly, Rob, (laughs) we were trying. (laughs) I thought we were doing really good. I thought we were doing good. And you kept saying, you kept saying, are you trying? You don't want to play this? Yeah. And I was like, I'm giving you everything I have. This is is me at the top of my intelligence. (laughs) Well, I'm sorry. I'll stop calling it out then. I appreciate you guys. It's okay. It was pretty fun. Um, <laughs> this is called One Right, Two Wrong. Uh, you've played this? I think so. Um, well, the way this works, Melissa, is basically the first answer has to be right, and then the next two answers have to be wrong. Copy that. And then the pattern repeats. So one right, two wrong, one right, two wrong. Okay. Now, of course, again, it's a subjective game. You have to wait till I read the full question. You can't repeat answers. You can't use sound machines. And uh, you um, can't get anything close when you're doing the wrong answer. For example, if I ask you, what is the ocean made of? And you say milk, that's wrong. That's way too close to water. What would be a correct wrong answer? I mean, just try and get as far away as you can. It's subjective, so. Chicken skin. Chicken skin, great. Oh, okay. not a liquid. Um, um, just a rem- to remind yeah. me. Yes. It's like not me and my. I need to get one right, and then whatever I answer next needs to be wrong. It's just the cumulative. The cumulative. It's always right? yeah. you're always competing against each other, and the game is continuing. So, yeah, you're getting. Yeah. Yeah. I you got it. it. I got it. All right. I'm, re- I'm rearranging my hat. Awesome. For the got, listener. Yeah, for the listener. <laughs> All right, here we go. This is one right, two wrong Christmas quiz. Whoops. <laughs> Whoa. What's a gal like you doing in a place like this? Um... One right, two wrong. Quis- Christmas, Christmas quiz. Ooh, Christmas oh, quiz. Christmas Chris. Question: When is Christmas celebrated? December twenty fifth. Let me get Christina. Who brings gifts on Christmas? Nobody. That's... Jimmy bought it. Oh, I guess I'll go. Nobody. That's closer. What do you put on top of a Christmas tree? Snot. That's correct, Christina. <laughs> Name a famous reindeer with a red nose. Rudolph. That's correct, Melissa. What do you hang by the fireplace for Santa? Your belly button. That's correct, Christina. Wow, what's the, crowd the main, loves me. what's the main meat served at Christmas dinner? Couch. That's correct, mm. Melissa. Finish these lyrics. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! That's correct, Christina. What plant is often used for Christmas decorations that has red berries? Pineapple. 
It's not. You use the same answer. That's one of the rules. That's one of the rules? Yeah. Well, let so me Melissa, do it again. you can steal. It's not. Table. Oh, that's I'm just doing furniture. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's uh, not. Um, so uh, Melissa gets it. Thank you. Name the period leading up to Christmas. Oranges. That is correct. So good. <laughs> what sweet treat is shaped like a log and enjoyed at Christmas? Hawaii. That is correct. No, that's incorrect. It's a Yule oh. log. That is it's correct, a Yule Christina. I'm sorry, Melissa. Log. Um, what did the three wise men bring to baby Jesus? Japan. That's correct. What do people enjoy that's made with eggs, sugar, and milk during Christmas? Nintendo 64. That's correct, Christina. Mm -hmm. So good. <laughs> In Frosty the Snowman, what made Frosty come to life? Is it love? That's not correct. It's like a special hat. That's correct, wow. Christina. Really? All right. What is a popular Christmas ballet with a nutcracker and a young girl? Chess master. That's correct. What's the name of the season leading up to Christmas? We already had this question. Suitcase Soft jazz. I think it's a tie. Soft jazz. Um, all right, let's see what we got here. Christina took the win on that one. It's not! Too quick. It's not, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not! Um. Wow, oh my God, the audience loves me. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Christina. Whoa, 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 whoa. Melissa, we were just like a team <laughs> two minutes ago. I yeah, know, and then you won, it, it, and Melissa, I was like, what the hell? Well, I'm that's the right response. You oh. should be upset at Christina for winning. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> They're forming an alliance. <laughs> that's too much. There we go. Is that that? that. That sounds that that there we go. That hello, 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 hello. Hi. Now that doesn't work. I'm gonna do this. Anyways, uh I don't think he was talking to you. Oh, we're getting a phone call, guys. So rude. We're getting a phone call on the magic phone. <gasps> Someone's calling? Yeah. Oh my god, I what love the heck is going on here. It must be old because oh, it would text. Caller ID says, it says, Frosty the Snowman? <gasps> Hello? Hello, folks. Oh my gosh. Oh my God, hi. Hi, how's everybody doing Frosty this Christmas? Frosty the Snowman. Why, that's, that's me. Do you ever get tired of that song? I Frosty certainly do not. It's a good time. Man. Oh, okay. Yeah. I love that song. Are so what are you, what's what's everyone's plans for this Christmas season? Um, really quick, are you going to be okay? It's kind of warm in here. It's pretty warm. Uh, well, I'm outside up in the North Pole right now. Right, because he's right. on the phone. Right, right, yeah. right. Yeah. Frosty's in a different place. That's right. But I am obviously concerned about global warming, but let's not get into that. That's just... Yeah, really sounds stuff. like okay. Yeah, we so don't have to talk about like the lip service, Rusty. Feels like you're a little afraid to get into it. <laughs> Look, is someone? Are you safe? Is someone making you say this? Well, no, it's <laughs> not about being safe. I think Christina, that's your name, right? Oh my God, how did he know? Well, I'm magical, but I'll tell you what, Christina, you you nailed it. <laughs> I don't fully believe in that hogwash, <gasps> and I know everyone thinks I should be the one, but I just. Don't see it. I mean, it's always cold when I'm around. Frosty. Frosty. That's, that's the exact kind of experience bias that is keeping people from taking action to save our planet. Look, I watch the news just like everybody else, and I don't see any evidence of this thing going oh, on. There's yeah. polar bears and You just, you're one of those. Falling. You don't care until it happens to you. But by the time it happens to uh, you, baby, it it's going like to be too late. A woke, woke crap. Oh, my God. Frosty is 
is Frosty. Frosty, is Frosty, a conservative I, fuck. I have to ask, Frosty. Is that really surprising, given my traditional Christmas values? Yo, you conservative <laughs> fuck. You're gonna. Frosty. Be the I'm pay- liberal on some things, but Frosty. let's see if we can guess. <laughs> liberal on some things. Yeah. Okay, I bet I bet you want to be liberal with your tax cuts. That's correct. Yeah, that's what I thought. How about you, Melissa? What's your views? <laughs> Uh, my view is that I really want to know where you were January 6th. Oh, boy. Now, let's oh. not get too into that. It was too warm, so I couldn't go. Oh, but he had a ticket <laughs> he booked. wanted to. He didn't want to go. We got to see his bank account. He had a ticket booked. You know, we there's more more that we get along about than, than we disagree about. Yeah. Oh, Y'all yeah. like Christmas, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, I like Christmas. Oh. Do y'all like cookies? Yeah, yeah. I do I like love cookies. cookies. Wow. wow, I could have something in common with this conservative fuck. See, so we're crossing boundaries here. Wow. Yeah. yeah, when do y'all come up and visit me here in the North Pole? Mm. I'll show you around. I got some literature I could hand you. No, <laughs> I don't like what. No. What kind of literature? You know, just some uh, mind expanding literature. Oh. Some, I like expanding my mind. Yeah, yeah. And there'll be cookies. Of course we got cookies. Melissa, it's a trap. What do you mean? It's just reading and cookies. It's a trap. That's He's like the most Christmassy thing no, ever. The literature is going to be like some, some like total conspiracy nut stuff. Okay, let's just ask him. Frosty, mm-hmm. we have a question about the literature. Is okay. it conspiracy nut stuff? It sure is. Oh, Frosty. Ah. Well, either way, if you want to come up here, maybe I won't force you to read. We'll just eat some milk and cookies and... uh have a grand old time. Okay. Okay, that sounds nice. That does fun? sound nice. Awesome. Okay, great. All okay. right. Trump 24. Oh, man. Maybe I'll cut this part. <laughs> Keep it. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Wow, Frosty's a fuck. I don't know. That was, that was kind really of into upsetting. Melissa's kind of into I should have spoke. <laughs> I, I should have of- said something. I guess I was kind of just in shock. Yeah. You know. So surprising. It, it, it's crazy how often characters get political on my show. As soon as they make a little money. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think he had some points <gasps> about the cookies. Oh, oh geez. Melissa. Right. Like that's how they get you. That's where they start you off <sighs> with. Oh, I, we have another ad, guys. This is the last one. This is the Oppenheimer action figures. <gasps> just in time for Christmas. Oh. So go ahead and... Uh, Read those um, ad copy right there. Just in time for Christmas. We've got the dolls your family needs. We've got Oppenheimer. We've got the other man in the movie. And the other man. And... (laughs) We've got the other man in the movie. <gasps> wow. And all of them are wearing suits. <gasps> yes, these dolls wearing suits are four men, and their arms move up and down from a chalkboard to a desk. Chalkboard to, to desk. desk. Above button, hitting the button. Above button, hitting, hitting the, the button. button. That's all they need is one moving arm and a brain full of moral quandaries. I'm hey. going to make a bomb. You didn't, and if you press on their stomach, they say things. And, you know, it's really good. They can, a really fun game for Christmas is to press on the button and then your whole family goes around and, and decides how they feel about the moral quandary mm-hmm. Oppenheimer presents. That does sound like so an interesting if, time. For instance, I don't know if enjoy you that. press on the, on the belly mm-hmm. and, and he says, I, I'm glad there's no women working on this bomb. And then you and your I know family, Christina hates this type of humor. You and your family go around and then you and then you decide how you feel about that. And 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 then you learn so much about each other and sometimes you laugh and you find common ground. Except for the family members who say that women shouldn't be allowed to of course, work. Yeah, yeah. And then those family members you yeah. put in a box and you ship to the middle of the ocean. Wow. And we'll actually take those. Yeah, we will. Really? We have a buyback program. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the well, ones, you buy people? We buy back the... The ones who pro- don't like women science. The problematic family members. <laughs> you, can act, you can ship those yeah, in yeah. the box at the Oppenheimer Action Figures I don't company. mean to... I'm not trying to cause problems here. This sounds like human trafficking. 
no, 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 they're not humans anymore. Are we trafficking the dolls? Yes. No. <laughs> but that's legal. We're selling them. Correct. Yes. Uh, so anyway, buy an Oppenheimer doll. And Merry Christmas to all. Yay. Ho, 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 ho. ho. I am become deaf. Wow, that ad really took a turn. I didn't know that would... What do you, mean? Well, you guys ready for the acting challenge? Mm. All right. So today's <laughs> acting challenge, you're competing against each other as per usual. Uh, who can deliver this the best? So take this as seriously as you can. Give a real shot. Try to attempt to deliver this monologue. This is a bit of a monologue from a movie called The Santa Claus. <gasps> so you will be reading the part played by... Tim Allen, and let me get you some drama music here. You want to take a beat whenever you're ready. Give it, give it your best shot. You gave me a wonderful gift, Charlie. Listen, a wonderful gift. You believed in me when nobody else did. You helped make me Santa. Selfish? Come on. You're the least, the least. Selfish person, I know. That was great. That was very good. All right, Christina, so good. your turn. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> you gave me a wonderful gift, Charlie. Listen, a wonderful gift. You believed in me when nobody else did. You helped make me Santa. Selfish. <laughs> Come on. You're the least, the least selfish person I know. I'm sorry, Melissa. That was really that good. Was, she that really, was really good. she ate that up. That was Yeah, I didn't even know you could say uh, it like yeah, that was I mean yeah. she well, it's those choices. Like, it's those choices. It's like a British Yeah. Santa's British now, actually. Yeah. That was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um all right, so this is round two. Christina. Right, this time I'll make a choice. <laughs> well, you will have to, because this is round two. And in round two, Christina, you have to start. It's with a Swedish accent. Oh, no. So whenever you're ready, take a beat with your best Swedish accent. <clears throat> you gave me a wonderful gift, Charlie. Listen, a wonderful gift. You believed in me when nobody else did. You helped me make a Santa. Selfish to come on. You're the least, the least selfish person I know. There we go. That's a hard one to beat, Melissa. Let's see if you can do it. <laughs> all right. Swedish, best Swedish accent wins. Give it your all. Hold on. <laughs> you gave me a, a wonderful gift. Ooh. Charlie. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen. Yeah. Uh -huh. A wonderful gift. Yes. You are believed. You have believed in me when nobody else did. You helped make me Santa. <laughs> a selfish, a come on. <laughs> you are the least, the least selfish person I know. Wow. Melissa. All right, you guys are tied. You ready for the uh, final acting challenge? Oh my Lay God. it on me. Okay, so you each get um, a piece of it. And 
In this round, starting with Melissa, you have to attempt to say the opposite of each word. Whenever you're ready. <clears throat> I received you three <laughs> nasty <laughs> curses. Nice. Charles. Speak ye three nasty curses. <laughs> Me doubted outside of you. Quando everyone else, including me, am doing. That's really that's that's really good, Christina. I don't know. Good luck. I hindered destroying you Easter Bunny. Magnanimous? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm the most, the most magnanimous robot you don't know. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. That was pretty good, but... Uh, Is that the plot of the Terminator? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And that's actually very interesting. The opposite of Santa Claus is the, the Terminator. Terminator. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Well, that means you failed because you said the Easter Bunny. Whereas, What's the opposite of Santa? Uh, I think you nailed it. I think it's the Terminator. Well, I said the Easter Bunny. You're right. The yeah. Terminator is the opposite of Santa. Melissa, Melissa, that was the fastest I've had somebody be able to do that that was very wow. impressive thank you well All melissa right. wins the acting challenge <laughs> um all right this is called guess the new boo it's another game <laughs> yes we, we got so many games for christmas here this is guess the new boo christmas edition close your eyes christina okay oh it's Look so dark <laughs> okay memorize who that is and Copy. hide it so she can't see it. So Memorize. crumple it up or whatever is it. All right, now close your eyes, Melissa. Christina, open your eyes. Memorize yours. Okay. Okay. All right. So you two are at a restaurant and you're both being kind of cagey with who you're both uh, seeing mm -hmm. right now because it's kind of a fun game you guys play. How this game works is you're both going to ask 20 questions of each other in a cutesy, having a good time way. And uh, you're gonna try and figure out who each other is dating. Whoever guesses correctly first wins. Okay. So. <laughs> hey! Hey, girl! I have some questions about your new boo. Oh my God, you, what you always do. Uh, uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Are they um, like like how human humanoid like where on the, that spectrum are they? Oh, what I love best about my new boo is that they are not humans at all. At all, no, no, no. How about you? Are you dating somebody who's human? Um, I wouldn't say human, human. Um, definitely like was around humans. Was a around lot. humans. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Um. <sighs> Sorry, to go back to yours. Um, it's interesting, I get it. It's interesting? Well, that's not really clear. I'm just saying like, it's okay to talk about me. Oh, for sure, for yeah, sure. Yeah, you're yeah. interesting, you're <laughs> interesting. Um, so they're not a human at all. Mm-mm. Hey ladies, I got your waters here. Do you, do you <gasps> want anything you. else to drink? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Could I have something that's like, um, Christmassy flavored. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple of. I'll uh, surprise you. Oh my gosh! Should we have him surprise us? Let's be crazy. Yeah. yeah. Surprise right. us. Surprise All right, we'll us. Do it. All right. Okay. So your new boo is around animals a lot. Is your new boo like a, a human's lot? Is your new boo like an animal? Um, I guess technically, but not any animal you would know. 
what is that supposed to mean? No, you know a lot of animals. You know a lot of animals. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> but this is like a really rare one. A really I had never met one before. I had never met one before. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, but you, you've heard of it? I had heard of it. Okay. Is your new boo an animal? No, my new boo's not a human or an animal. Mm. Hot, hot, hot. Are they an idea? No, they are alive, but they're not an animal and they're not a human. Okay. So think about that. I see you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 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 Follow up. Follow up mm. to this animal I have never heard of. Is it an animal on planet Earth? <sighs> it would depend which Earth. Okay. Like, yes, Earth, but which universe? Okay. Um, is it a fictional animal? Yes. Here we go. That's Here what we go. Oh my God. Hot. It's crazy. Oh my God, so hot. And with like fictional animals, I mean like the, there are no limits, baby. There's no limits. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay, so yours is, so do you, are you having fictional, fictional character sex? No, I'm having very real sex <laughs> with a living <laughs> organism that's not an animal, not, or not a human. So like, what else on the planet? You know what I mean? I'm thinking, girl, are you dating a plan? Oh, I am dating this plan. Ah! But you got to figure out the type of plan. Ah! I know. I know, no, no. Okay, so this fictional animal that you're just like going to town on every night, is it, um, is it like, a, um, like a fantastical animal? Kind of. And also, I want to say like humanoid. Okay, a humanoid picture. Is it Christmas related? Girl, you know it is. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Are you dating Santa Claus? Mm. No. Okay. But girl, trust me, I've tried. Oh my God. <laughs> yes, he is hard to pin down. Yeah. All right, I have to know. <sighs> Are you dating a cactus? I am not dating a cactus. No, that okay, would be. Thank God. That would hurt. However, who I am dating can also hurt. <laughs> um, are you gonna be okay? Do I, should I be worried? No, no, it's like a good hurt, like a scratchy <laughs> hurt, <laughs> like a scratchy, needly hurt. Oh, so not an emotional thing. Not an emotional. I'm saying like, but that's what I like. I like, I like, um, I like when I'm going to town on on my boo to. To just get like I feel like I get like needles in my face. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. Girl, bye. Are you dating a Christmas tree? Oh my god, I oh, am. Oh yeah, slapping on this Christmas tree. Melissa, <laughs> Melissa got first. Let's see if you can still. Okay. Yes. A humanoid. Okay, a humanoid Christmassy, Christmassy. Hum I love like a little, like a little, like a little elf. Um, like a big guy. Like a big guy who's like he's not tall. Santa and he's like tall. He's so tall. He's Whoa. Tall. Oh my gosh. And it's Christmas related. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was like, so, but it's not Paul Bunyan because Paul Bunyan's not Christmas eh? No, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, yeah. That's like a American Does tall this tale. person live in the North Pole? Does this person? No, this person lives elsewhere. Cool. This person annoyed. This person annoyed. <laughs> cool. This no and it's like, but in a cold place. In you a got, cold uh, place. Two Christmas cookie milkshakes. Oh my god. Three shots of rum in each one. Oh, oh yeah. Could you like? Is this mm. person like? Oh wait, this person's tall. This, this person annoyed is tall. Person annoyed is tall. And I will say Harry. <laughs> and like really? Oh, it's the Obama. Are you? Wait a minute. Are you? Getting down with the abominable snowman? I wish. <gasps> I wish. <laughs> but my guy's cute too. Oh my god. He's a little selfish. So selfish. A little selfish. Okay, so selfish. But like you're getting what you need, right? <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. No. Yeah, no. Oh, no. Oh no. <laughs> Yeah, no. Oh, well, maybe. Well, you know, maybe you're just having fun. Um, I'm having fun. He's no, you're right. He is so selfish, <laughs> like really greedy. Oh my god, 
Girl, no. Yeah. You are dating the Grinch? Yes. yes, I'm dating the Grinch. Girl, you cannot date the Grinch. But he's so tall. <laughs> he's so tall. <laughs> oh, well, that's not everything, though. <laughs> He's also, you know, he, he had like a rough so life. Hairy. He's like traumatized. <laughs> you know, when he was a kid, when he was a kid, he had like this big crush on this girl. Yeah. And he like, and he was like hairier than all the other kids. So like one day he tried to shave. You're not going to save him, girl. I know I'm the waiter, but this does sound codependent. You're not going to save no, him. Yeah, that's not no, great. You don't know me. Yeah, you don't sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. You're, right, you're, right. you're not a part of this. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll stay. I'll stay. Uh, you guys want any apps? <laughs> Obviously, yes. Okay. Bring them. Okay, I'll surprise you. Well, I hope that you're taking care of yourself. Yeah, I mean, I gotta. And you're using like real, like, like you're using like protection against. Yeah, we're using yeah. like I'm using like, like huge, rubber gloves. Yeah, like, like rubber gloves. Yeah, yeah, because I feel like that Grinch could just like get anywhere, you know. Oh, like, just, like a little scribbling around anywhere, you know. Oh, you think he's like. Not clean? Oh no, well no, that's not what I meant, but oh my gosh. No, I'm sure he's like loyal, but he sounds greedy, selfish. He, he we cut to him. we cut to the Grinch and uh, <laughs> Melissa this night after this convo she had with her friend. Um, hey. Oh hey baby. <laughs> Hi, um I brought you leftovers. Oh, that's so nice for thinking. Oh, I kind of wanted half of those. Oh, too late, baby. Um, I wasn't going to bring it up, but I was talking to to my friend. Oh, uh, you know I don't love it when you do that. No, no, it was fine. It was fine. I only said good things about you. Oh, good, good, good. You know, it's just for good people. They don't. They don't like me. They don't get a good opinion. No, I know. And your life is so hard. My life is so hard. I know. Hard. I know about the cuts. And everyone laughed at you. Everyone I'm laughed so at me. Sorry. My life is. I don't know. My life's been really hard since. I, yeah, I know. I, I'm sorry. And I feel so bad even asking this. But 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 but, 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 but I was talking to her, and I was thinking maybe you could be a little a little less greedy. Well, you know. Go, oh my heart! Go, go, it's growing. <laughs> Are you okay? There's, there's a lump. It's getting bigger. My heart's growing <laughs> three sizes. Oh my god! Oh, go, ew, oh, that's kind of. Of course, go, boom, 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 boom. Of course, I'll be less selfish, baby. You've taught me the power of love. <laughs> yes. Wow, I can't believe. Wow, that. Melissa. Yeah. Great. And I, you know, you know, I haven't done it yet, but I'll go down every night. <gasps> wow. <laughs> that's my that's, gift. That's what happens with the heart grows. That's wow. my my heart grows, and now I'm willing to go down on others. <laughs> it's a Christmas miracle. It's a Christmas wow. miracle. What a happy ending. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I think so. Um, <laughs> we, turns out you did save him. <gasps> I, I, I did. I could save him. <laughs> you could. So, That's so, the moral of the episode. You can you save the broken him. man. Um, not only is that the moral of the episode, but uh, bef- but you guys did write a song <gasps> about it. So let's. <laughs> Once upon a time, I was like any other girl whose boyfriend would not go down on her. Then she talked to her boyfriend, she told him what she needed, and then he said, I'll eat you out. And then he ate me out, and then he ate me out, and it was not that good. And I said, baby, please stop eating me out. Turns out his really hairy face has kind of got a lot of stiff hair. And that was really not a great conducive part of the cunnilingus process. We were tangled for weeks. He could not get out of me. He missed work and then he lost his job. And then I lost my job for having him in my cooch when I showed up to teach English. Wow, cunnilingus is really dangerous. Yeah, I don't recommend it. Wow, that was such a good, wow. That's like a top hit. I can't believe we did that. (laughs) I know, that was amazing. Um, Let me ask you, where can we find you online? Uh, Melissa, let's start with you. Um, I'm on Instagram. 
at Melizard Pang. That's me, Lizard Pang. Wonderful. And Christina? I'm at What a Gross Peach. I'm like, What a Gross Peach Like the Fruit. Fantastic. And everybody else, you can find me online at the Rob Stern. But thank you so much for listening to the Christmas episode of The oh, Rob wow. Stern, Stern Show. Show. Hey, what are you elves doing in my store again? Mm, we're, we're, we're trying to buy presents for Christmas. Do uh, you take spirit at cheer? Do you, do you take American Christmas cheer express cards? Don't look uh, at my toe bag. Don't look <laughs> at my toe bag. You know what? I'm feeling pretty generous. I don't know what it is, but I guess maybe it's magical elves visiting me during Christmas time, but I'll... Happy to just give you guys whatever you want. Thank you, Mr. Caruso. Thank you. That's Run! Right. <laughs> Run! That's right. I am Caruso, the owner of the, uh, the Grove. The, the Grove. The, the, and yeah, the, the, the Grove. Cat Americana. Yeah. Run! <laughs> <laughs> Why are you running? I'm, I don't tr- I, We don't really trust people who are nice for no reason. Oh, I get yeah. that. Bye! <laughs> Rubster and Show. The Rob Stern Show. Everybody's dancing. Rob Stern Show. Everybody's the angry. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. The Rob Stern Show. Oh, oh, oh. The Rob Stern Show. His name is Stern, but he is nice. His name is Rob, but he doesn't steal. What is this a web of lies? The show is a web of lies.